My name is Susan. I'm a lifelong resident of New Jersey. And this morning, I left Bedford, New Jersey with my three kids. I took them out of school today so they could see what was going on here. Um, I don't have any prepared remarks, and I'm not representing anyone except myself and my family. I feel very strongly about what's going on here today. Um, as you can tell, I'm nervous. But I felt it was important to come, and I sat in the back and almost didn't respond when you called my name to come up here and speak. But my oldest son is still here with me, and I thought it was important to set an example. I realized that the Second Amendment was written with the common man in mind. The every man, we the people. It, it's not for the expert, it's not for the hunter, it's not for someone involved in the shooting sports, although my family is. And I haven't heard anyone speak to that today. I feel very deeply concerned that you don't seem concerned. I feel, um, after listening to you in one of the overflow rooms for about four hours, I didn't see your faces, but I heard how you were responding and speaking to the people. And I felt that decisions have already been made. And this is deeply concerning. As part of just simply being an American, I want to feel that we have a voice. You taking away this right, which is what you are doing, you taking away this right is something that the people should stand up and not tolerate. When my kids go off track, and I have three boys, and they often need to be refocused, I feel that you need to be refocused. Please, res please respect the Second Amendment. Um, in closing, I just want to say I don't see anything in these bills. And you know, <laughs> my father only had a ninth grade education, but he was a man who had the most common sense of anyone I ever knew. And when I keep on hearing the term common sense legislation, I want to bang my head against the wall. I don't see anything common sense in this. I don't see you focusing on the problem. I see you trying to infringe the rights of myself, my family, and every future generation in New Jersey. And being a mother, one of your constituents, and a, mem a member of the American public, I thought it was necessary to come and tell you that. And I certainly hope that you will listen when you vote. Thank you. Thank you.